Hello, my name is Olumide Owuru and I'm an actor. I like to think that I'm not necessarily being typecast uh, with, with the role that I've been playing. Uh, but then, of course, I have been playing a lot of younger roles where I'm, you know, saying hello mom, hello dad, or <laughs> having an older brother or an older sister. But uh, I would say now, you know, that I'm done with uni, um, I feel like I'm ready to take on uh, slightly more mature roles uh, so now I'm just going to be extra picky with you know materials that I involve myself with uh, I'm not trying to just you know leave it overnight because you know there's a process but I just want people to understand that I'm getting older I mean I'm 23 now <laughs> I'll say the fact that I see myself as a regular guy helped me in uni uh, you know, I, I just I, I saw myself as just you know the next guy in school. Um, I didn't really think too much of what I was doing outside of school, uh, but I would say that the people that I went to uni with, course mates, uh, just mates in general, the teaching staff, non-teaching staff. I mean, I feel like they made it easy enough for me to settle in and adjust and catch up. Uh, there, were, I don't necessarily think there was any preferential treatment. Um, you know, it was the same with, you know, for me and everybody else in school. I'm actually really shy and a lot of people don't understand this or don't even know this about me. So I tended to just spend more time with my course mates or with my roommates, uh, just, you know, taking walks, uh, listening to music. Um, once in a while, I put my earpiece in, even though I wasn't listening to anything, just because I wanted to be on my own for a bit. But I would say um, the people that I went to school with uh, really helped me a lot. They helped uh, make me feel like one of the regular guys and there wasn't really any pressure to show off or to try to stand out, you know, it was just me equal with everybody else and I really appreciate that. I mean, if I look back at my university experience, I don't think I would have done anything differently. Um, if I told there was anything I would have done differently, then just maybe I would have participated more in, you know, the social activities in school, uh, just to have a more hands-on experience with that but generally I would do the same exact thing with the same exact people at the same exact times as I already did going through uni. If I had to pick, I mean I've had a couple of experiences but uh, so far arguably uh, one of the standout times I've had so far acting would definitely have to be on the set of uh, MTV Sugar. Uh, I mean it was a really really amazing experience. Uh, it felt really good. <laughs> and for the worst filming experience so far, uh, let's just say that there was a strike <laughs> while we were filming. You know, like the cast and the crew were like, you know what, if XYZ demands are not met, we are not going to be filming. And we basically were on strike for like a whole day. Like no cameras rolled for a whole day. And yeah, we had to have a lot of meetings to sort that out. So I mean, that is my worst filming experience so far. Now that I'm done with uni, the good thing is now I have more time on my hands to explore uh, a lot of my talents. So one of those talents is music. Uh, a lot of people don't know. I've been making music since I was about 12. Not professionally, of course, in, in my room, uh, on my laptop, you know, with my friends. We've just been making music for fun. And I feel like that's a side of myself that I really want to explore uh, a bit more. So uh, I've been recording singles this year uh, with my producer friend. His name is Beats by Jay. We've been making music together since uh, secondary school. I went to King's College Lagos, by the way. Florets to all KCOBs out there. Uh, but yeah, uh, 2018, definitely there's going to be music material from me. I'm working at shooting uh, videos for or a video for the first single that I'm going to be putting out that I'm going to be directing uh, with a friend. So that, that should be fun. You know, maybe at some point I'll even start directing music videos. We'll see. Uh, but I'm starting with mine. Uh, I'm looking to have that ready for the first quarter of 2018. And I'm just looking to work on more film material. I mean, I've been working on a lot of TV. Uh, you know, series, soaps, that kind of thing. And I really want to challenge myself. Well, in case you didn't know, I have a momager. And what that means is my mom is my manager. So uh, when a script comes through, she'll read it, I'll read it. 
and you know we'll just discuss the story discuss the character discuss the feet <laughs> of course uh but generally we just like to or rather how i pick scripts is if i feel like it's in line with what i want for myself or with the vision that i have for the direction i want my career to take then i'll basically take it the vision i have for myself is is very simple to define i really don't want to be put in a box you know i don't want people to say oh olimide awaru is in the movie and you already have an idea of the kind of character i'm going to be playing um that's the last thing i want for myself as an actor i want to be able to participate in multiple genres of film i want to do horror sci-fi drama romance you know maybe even do like a biograph like a biography you know play like a, an existing character a real life story uh I mean I've acted with a lot of amazing people so far uh but if I had to pick one uh actress to or just one female rather one female that I've acted with uh you know to maybe go on a in quote romantic date or what not uh I mean it's it's not exactly hard to answer but I mean arguably it'll have to be Jemima Osunde I feel like people might not know that I watch a lot of documentaries. Uh I've I mean I watch a lot of TV, but I'm not half the time I'm not watching movies, I'm watching documentaries. I can literally stay 26 hours a day <laughs> in front of the TV watching docu. I'm a really big music fan as well. I mean, I have an extensive music library. Um I kind of collect music from like the 1920s up until now. I have a very healthy record collection, uh vinyl, of course. Uh so yeah I mean I listen to everything from hip hop to soul to jazz and opera and classical music. A day in my life before <laughs> would probably involve waking up at like 5 in the morning trying to get ready for a 7 a.m. class uh you know going from class to class and then going to eat and then the library then sleeping a bit of laundry then basketball then a bit of studying then eating then taking a walk video games just thing going to bed and doing the same thing again the next day but now uh i would say a day in the life of a lumi day basically involves waking up early sometimes depending but just if i'm filming then obviously i have to go to 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 set and and film but i'm trying to just have more fun now so A day in my life would just involve me working and then finding pockets in between to just hang out and just chill out and just do my guys cuz I haven't really had a lot of time for my friends growing up just because of how my schedule has been so now that I'm out of school I feel like I have a bit more time and it'll be nice to you know spend more time with my friends